Guys, welcome to this week at Tomney's. In this video, we're going to have a look at my £100 Tamiya Sand... <laughs> my £100 Tamiya Sand Scorcher. Before we do that, though, just a quick update on what's been going on this week uh, and what's coming up on the channel. Well, anyway, what has been happening? Hoonicorn's missing from my Team Associated um, care package because it is lined up, ready to go. That means that that's happening imminently. We've got an FMS there. That's also happening imminently. Not sure I meant to show you, but whoop, whoop. If you follow Scale Builders Guild and Harley Designs, you may have seen some stuff on the Monthly Mayhem. I can show you that now. I did blur it out in the last video, but I can show you that now. I'm not gonna show you underneath at the minute, but that's my one. And after seeing some of their builds, I feel like I've probably not done as much as I should. Although I did, although I do say, when you see the main video of that, which comes out on Thursday, I do say I'm going for that clean stock look. OEM plus is what I said, so it definitely looks like that. Anyway, look out for a video on Thursday. It's gonna be a long one, probably 40 to 50 minutes long of this monthly mayhem. It's gonna be good. So that's all coming up in the next few days. Body here, I've just trimmed it, just cleaned it. It's just dry in there. Now that is for the FFO3 world's fastest front wheel drive Tamiya build. Got some prep work there, which means it's coming up soon. It would have been done sooner. The same as the coffee truck's not finished yet. That would have been done sooner if that thing hadn't taken up so much time. It's been so fun doing that, but man, it has taken a long time. And I've done, and I, like I said, I haven't done a great deal compared to others. Nothing really going on out here. That's all still a mess. It's kind of a dumping ground. I really do need to have a tidy up. Went down to visit my dad um, last week and in that bag, there's uh, an old Tamiya and some body shells. Oh, that will come. I'll probably do it on this channel, actually. We'll get that out, maybe next video. Something cool in there. Oh, yeah. That's car build coming soon. Look, I want to drive, okay? My arm's fine. So, look, get the car off the trailer. Don't don't look at me. Get it off the trailer. That turned up as well this week. It's a hauler um, bag or whatever you want to call it. Monster Truck Arena has been cleared out, ready for maybe some other videos. Max Smasher from FMS. That is proving very popular. Good little truck. A little update as well. I've got this boom race in the BRX02. Uh, Sat there for a long time and I'm glad I haven't built it yet because Boom Racing brought out a 6x6 conversion kit. So I, so I bought that and we're going to do a 6x6 Boom Racing. That thing's going to be awesome. That's about it really for what's going on this week. So let's have a look at the sand score. <coughs> so no joke, this thing did actually only cost me £100, which for those of you in the US um, or that are more familiar with dollars, with the current exchange rate, it's about 100 and $15, I think. At the time I bought it, it was probably around $130, $140, but yeah, £100. It is a re-release, it's not an original one. I did have an original one, and I actually sold the original one after I bought this, because I didn't want two sand scorchers. And this thing, even though it's a re-release, it's just so nice. I just realized my exhaust has come off. Is it that one? I think it's just a, yeah. It's not glued, there we go, that's better. Whoever built this done a really good job of it, that's the exhaust there. It's just on a little bit of rubber tube and that's a really good idea. Just means it's not gonna snap off. So not only was this a good deal because of how cheap it was, look at the, it's got alloy wheels as well. They are not cheap, you can get covers, but these are actual full alloys um, on there. So that's an awesome little upgrade. It's also got alloy bumpers, and again, not a cheap upgrade on the back as well there. It has got a few little marks on it, but a nicely painted box art body. It's been done really well. Decals all on there, decent. Love the yellow tinted rear windows as well. And we got ourselves a driver in there. Wing mirrors are missing off this, but I have got a spare set. And then super clean underneath as well. Look at that, nice and clean. Don't think it's been run that much. It's certainly not got any damage on it. The shocks probably need some more oil in them. These are the, the shocks are revised on the re-release so they don't leak and quite often like the person that's built this has, uh, they get put on upside down just to help with that leakage. But front feels like it probably, they probably need taking apart and having a look at. Uh, same as the rear, made in Japan. So stock Tami ESC under there, I don't know what that servo is. That looks like a Traxxas connector. <laughs> Little bit of rust on there needs cleaning out. I think that's just grease and stuff on the back, but. But that is my 100 pound Tamiya Sand Scorcher. Got some plans for that that some of you may go, 
really? And it's going back to this world's fastest FFO3 thing. Those of you that ch followed the channel from probably the very beginning or close to the very beginning would have seen a lot of Tamiya speed runs. That's where it all started for me. And one of the most popular ones back in the day was my world's fastest sand scorcher. I think my record was 38 mile an hour. Stayed there for a long time and then someone came along and ruined it by doing, I think it was 42 or 43 mile an hour. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna go and claim my speed record back with the sand scorcher. And that is one of the reasons why I sold the vintage one I had and bought this re-release, not only because it was a good deal, but also being a re-release, if I trash it, I'll probably feel a little bit better that it's a new one, rather than one that survived 40 years for me to then trash. Anyway, I don't think that'll be this year. Look out for spring next year when the weather starts getting better and the speed run's gonna be done on the beach where this thing belongs. That's it for this week, guys. Oh, little thing I forgot. We hit 100,000 subscribers. You are all legends. <laughs>